Hi everybody, um, I am back with another Jurassic World Dino Escape review. Here, let me move this. This is where I keep my Dino Arrival cards. Alright, I'm gonna do two separate videos. I have to review the Wild Pack Alioramus and the Roar Attack Metriacanthosaurus. Fun story, I'm going to do this one first. Fun story, I was on Mercari, it's a Friday night, and I bought it for only like 25 bucks, wasn't that bad. And on Facebook, a boy and his mom were trying to get it, and I took it from them, like a few minutes afterwards, they planned on buying it, but they couldn't because, well, I already bought it. So, and, it, and today's Tuesday, so it came relatively fast all right guys if you want to search for this in your stores here's the barcode sorry about the train y'all here's the other barcode even though, even though they're the exact same thing here's the back of the box shows you everything else uh the three levels of sound now it actually is the rest of the wave is the first wave so this is like a wave 1.5 with metric hand source. And it is actually not a Camp Cretaceous box. It is actually a Dino Escape box. And same goes to the Alioramus. Alright, here is the tail. There is assembly is required. So here's what you do. Okay. What the hell is that? Alright, something broke. Okay, something definitely broke. That's what it was. I might glue the tail in, you guys. I'm trying to figure out what fucking broke. Alright, I'm trying to figure out what I did. I see what broke. I might actually, either one, just leave it like this or I might just glue it um all right yeah let's get right into into the review straight away I noticed that the tail looks a bit different and it actually stands up on its own all right let's go over the action feature first I should do that later get the little button which actually doesn't look too bad on it oops, oops that's two one, let's do one again. All right. Then now the bottom jaw is painted a sand cream color. The eye is painted orange with a little bit of red around the eye and the back of the neck. Um, this is actually a harder plastic than it usually is. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what fucking broke in here, but it still works. Like, I put the thing in, and y'all saw me. So, I might, honestly, I might just leave it. I'm just going to leave it. Um, the, the pupil is actually painted black. Uh, the, the main body color is like a Brachiosaurus, uh, brown. I actually have the Kenji and Monolophosaurus set coming. That'll come Thursday. Now, my Dilophosaurus Fierce Force, I have coming tomorrow, but I'm not going to be able to get it till Thursday, because I'm not going to make my grandpa come down here to my house, which he, he lives like 20 minutes away, uh, three days in a row. I mean, the Alley Ramus came with the Metric source. So, yeah, I'm actually kind of lucky to have this fucking Metric source. I'm like, I can't believe I have it. All right. So, here's the inside of the mouth. It's kind of basic. Um, the arms kind of go up a little bit like that. Out and in. Same thing goes the other arm. Now, now these can go out like that. Alright, here's actually a 
try to do a top view. It's actually, and to me, it, lo it looks like that they re-sculpted the most of the entire thing. I mean, the legs look like they're different because it stands up perfectly. All right, the legs are not painted. The nails are not painted. Here's the, uh, the DNA code for you guys. I know most, I know Andy Harner gave it to you, but I'm usually pretty good about it. All right. Come on, why is it gonna be so fucking blurry? I figure I actually thought this would be kind of rare. Hopefully, I can get this to work for you guys. I I don't know what's going on. I'm trying just not to hit the pause button. Now I'm getting irritated. Alright, um, I'm, I'm gonna pause you guys, and hopefully when you are on, when I unpause you guys, you, you'll be able to see it good. There you go. That's pretty damn good right there. Alright, um, the speaker box actually looks pretty good. I mean, other than the fact there's holes in its freaking chest, looks like it's been shot. All right, leg articulation. All right, let's fix the tripod. Sorry that my videos are kind of blurry. I use my cell phone for these. All right, they go out and in. Go out pretty far. And they can go out like that, which you wouldn't need to do that because it stands up really well. And I'm ha I got carpet, y'all. So this stands up pretty good. Uh, the tail, unfortunately, isn't painted. Keep wanting to pull this fucking thing out. I'm gonna learn how to pull it out. Well, I need to learn to pull it out. So, <laughs> all right. The nail toenails aren't painted. The tail is nicely sculpted. It's like a rat tail, y'all. All right. Now I'm going to um get the other two real quick. Well, we're kind of yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I can already tell that they resculpted them. My Dino Rival shelf is pretty crowded, so is my Primal Attack. I mean, they're all pretty crowded, but my, my Dino Escape, I got plenty of room. Because I actually made room. Because I took all my Primal Attack, and I mixed it in there. I took out the non-Camp Cretaceous ones, like Irritator, Majungasaurus, and Monosaurus, all of them. I took those out, that first wave or so. And put them on their own separate shelf next to him. Here's the Dino Rivals, Metricantosaurus. Now, this is actually kind of top heavy. This one isn't. Yeah, now these two are kind of heavy. So, here's the Roar Roar. Whoops. Um, yeah, these don't stand up very well, y'all. And I'll show you like a top view. Yes, they did re sculpt this. The head, neck area. This one kind of curves over, and this one doesn't. So I'll go over the sounds on this one again. I don't even know. So, yeah, you can hear it. Listen. Yeah, something broken here. Now there, there used to be a button. Right here. I kind of like the, the Dino Rival was one school and all. But I mean. So. We, we, we did not get a Sound Strike Metric Candosaurus, which kind of wouldn't be very good because they, got, they, got they kind of got to have like a fat tail to do it. Like the Ceratosaurus, they didn't make one. But they easily could have done, like, there was some, I mean, they could have done something with, like, the Roar Chax Ratosaurus and make it sound strike. But, yeah. Here's Symmetry with the other two brothers or sisters, whatever. So, yeah. This is a, um, Dino Escape Metria Canthosaurus. Now, the good thing is, I'm gonna pop the tail off real quick. 
see if I can get something for a thumbnail. Alright guys, that is the thumbnail for the video. And in the background, you can see my di my Dino Escape shelf. Which I'll show you the whole shelf in prior line, like in November or something. Alright guys, that's all for this video. And I hope y'all enjoyed. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed. And, and I hope y'all find it. Peace.